photographer Frank Palmer, who lived in Spokane in the early 1900s. Palmer called himself a scenic photographer who photographed nature's grandest scenes. His beautiful hand-painted photographs were used to attract tourists to eastern Washington and northern Idaho. Palmer's images included grand waterfalls, pristine lakes, and towering mountains. They capture the essence and spirit of turn-of-the-century Washington and Idaho. Frank Palmer came to Spokane from Atchison, Kansas in 1898. He ends up in Rathdrum, Idaho, and was also up in Stevens County at a point before coming to Spokane and settling in Spokane as a young man and photographer. Palmer's ledgers, which began in 1907, show that he had a large stock of photographs that were selling well. Some of his biggest clients were the boosters and promoters like the Chamber of Commerce and the railroads and steamship companies. So he's working with the railroads and the steamboat companies to kind of drum up business. And one of the ways he does that is he's contracted to produce 20,000 prints of the scenic view on this steamboat or on this rail, and, and he does it. And he, he's able to mass produce these prints as souvenirs. In 1910, Palmer noticed that he sold over 15,000 photographic postcards. Palmer was an avid outdoorsman. He and his wife Frances camped and took photos of their adventures. You get a really strong sense that he loved nature and he loved the scenery in Washington and Idaho. There's these incredible shots of waterfalls, of lakes, um, of these um, just unique geographic locations. Outdoor World and Recreation Magazine, headquartered in New York City, used some of Palmer's magnificent scenic photographs. Palmer also offered his clients something unique, color. He would painstakingly go in and paint these really vivid colors on sunsets on the lake or of these streams and waterfalls with this greenery and foliage around it. It's rather incredible. Although there is no actual documentation, Palmer and Frances apparently collaborated in the photography business. She is very involved in his career as a photographer. She works as an assistant for him, helping develop his photographs. She very much is the star of some of his photography. Many of Palmer's photographs highlight rural life in the inland Northwest. He was very interested in documenting the natural resources of the area. So there's these great pictures of apple orchards and his wife holding this bushel of potatoes that are just uh, enormous and him hand coloring those in to really give people a sense of what it looked like. There's these great pictures of a family posing outside of their log cabin. The incredible documentation of rural life. He just had a sense of how to take a photograph and give it a really timeless feel. 
One of his more iconic pieces is this picture of Curly Jim, who is a local a Spokane Indian. And he's in very classic Western dress outfit with a fringed um, vest. It becomes used. And so it's this contrast of it's not just traditional garb, but them being and embracing a part of modern society and the everyday life. And I think Palmer really understood that. Palmer dies in 1920 at age 40. Some photographers take thousands and thousands of pictures. His pictures seemed much more intentional. So he would take the time to set up the shot to get the perfect photograph. 